A very good evening and uh, welcome to On The Spot here on NTV. I'm Chris Higeni. Tonight we shall be looking at the political landscape and uh, the latest developments in the land, including what is happening within the National Unity Platform following the fallout between the Deputy President for Buganda Region and the Principal that is the President of the National Unity Platform, Robert Chagulanyi Sentamu. We shall also be looking at developments within the Army following the appointment of General Mohozi Kainerugaba as the uh, Chief of Defense Forces. The handover from Wilson Mbasumbadi to Mohozi Kainerugaba effectively happening earlier today. We shall also be tackling what's happening across the country in light of the political landscape ahead of the 2026 general election. I'll be joined by analysts who are seasoned in this trade and we shall be talking at length, including or rather covering just about everything that uh, has been happening in the country. This is On The Sport and I am Chris Higgin. Hello again. I'll introduce my guests first. Henry Kasacha is the Executive Director at the Dialogue and Democracy Training Center. He's joining us this evening. A very warm welcome to the program. Thank you very much. And uh, welcome to Alex Waisom Fumbiro, Deputy Spokesperson of the National Unity Platform. I am humbled this time to be with you in the night. It's a pleasure, no doubt. Now, let me begin with a letter that uh, effectively suspends the Deputy President of the National Unity Platform, Bathas Impuga, for some time as the National Executive Committee of the largest opposition party in Parliament uh, decides his fate. I will read the text on the 6th day of May 2022 while you served as Leader of Opposition in Parliament, a position to which you were seconded by the party you participated in a meeting which you, together with three NRM nominated parliamentary commissioners, allocated yourselves 1.7 billion Uganda shillings in pretext of a service award. You were personally allocated 500 million Uganda shillings. This was an act of corruption and abuse of office which violated numerous laws including section 91 of the Leadership Code Act 2002 which prohibits leaders from taking part in meetings at which matters of personal interest to them are to be discussed. The letter goes on to say, you have thus far failed to provide any satisfactory explanation for engaging in this action that goes against the vision, mission and objectives of the party. It also goes against Article, 50, Article 5, 3b and f of the party constitution which obligates party members to conduct themselves in a manner that does not bring disrepute to the name of the party as well as practice accountable leadership. It further states that in accordance with articles 6, 3, H and 7, 1, E of the party constitution, I hereby suspend you from the position of the deputy president of the national unity platform for central region with immediate effect and accordingly refer the matter to the National Executive Committee for further processing. Signed, Chagulani Sentamo Robert, President of the National Unity Platform. With us in the studio is the Deputy Spokesperson for the National Unity Platform, Alex Waiso Mufumbiro, to expound on this latest development. The tone and the texture of the letter is widely pretty much what has been happening. Alex Waiso Mufumbiro. Yes, expound on this letter. <clears throat> um, first of all, the, the letter is a fact. Uh, it is out there. Mm. It is um, um, a communication to the right, uh, to the former leader of opposition, the Honorable Mpuga, on the action that has been taken by the party. Um, I also want from the onset to state that there is no impasse between uh, Honorable uh, Matthias Simpoga, uh, now the suspended deputy president, and the president, His Excellency Robert Chagulani Sentam. It is not a personal issue. Um, it is uh, a party issue, and uh, the National Inter Platform, I think, is moving against corruption. That should be the caption. Let's forget the individuals and look at the acts mm. of the individuals. And this has uh, 
uh, promulgated into an act of corruption, abuse of office, and, um, and dishonesty uh, at all levels. So this is an action. Now this is a punitive action. We, we, we from the start said that we were trying so much to have this matter handled um, advisory. But uh, as you have realized every day, there are different turns of events. When this exhibition started, many dismissed it to be uh, simply social media, mm. uh, uh, throwing hood ramps everywhere, or the whole Baru are from people who do not matter, uh, those of 500 shillings as data. But then now, if you look even at the actions of government, mm. Um, they have taken a step where 50% of the parliamentary budget has been cut. When government takes such initiatives, it shows that there has been some complacency in whatever that particular institution has been doing. The budget of uh, the Honorable Joel Senyon itself has been slashed by over a billion. So I want, first of all, to assure the nation that this exhibition uh, was actually factual. And uh, we have had admission. This money that was received is admitted, uh, has been admitted uh, by both Parliament and the com former Commissioner himself. He accepted to have uh, undertaken, having participated, and received the 500 million. It has been confirmed by the spokesperson of government and the spokesperson of uh, Parliament, uh, Chris Obore. So this was not an issue that was for individuals. Uh, this is an issue uh, that speaks to the core values of our political, our young political party. Uh, the act itself was out of law. Uh, if you look at uh, as, as we have expounded uh, rigorously and vigorously, uh, Article 93 of the Constitution, if you look at uh, the Anti-Corruption Act, mm -hmm. if you look at the Leadership Act starting from 8, 9, and 11. So there was this abuse of, of, of office and uh, definitely the party. You know, our party is anchored on the ideology of people power and accountability above service. Therefore, it was important that we, we cannot be proclaiming to have a new Uganda, a corrupt free nation, mm. and then we cannot take action on our own, okay. however painful it is. So yes, uh, the letter is factual. This afternoon, uh, the party uh, conclusively made a decision uh, that uh, the Honorable Mpoga, given um, um, the, 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 the background of what the behavior, the indiscipline uh, from the time this matter has been uh, brought up, uh, f that has come from him, uh, we believe as a party that this is uh, a step in progress to building our party better. Allow me to stay with you briefly before I come to Henry Kasasha. What is the National Executive Committee going to process? Because the later, the president here uh, says that the matter will be referred to the National Executive Committee for further processing. What does NEC intend to process? I cannot discuss the intention of NEC before it sits, but the matter has been referred to NEC for further processing. There are many things. One, we do not believe that this, uh, our beloved Deputy President is in, in rehabilitable. Uh, we don't think he's uh, irreconciliatory. Uh, we believe that we should still, uh, as you see, it is a suspension. Mm -hmm. We are still leaving all possible avenues to see that he gets to understand the depth of what we are saying. Um, it is still our responsibility to, uh, to persuade him to do what is right because the party asked him to step aside. That was what the party was advising to step at aside, oh. um, take genuine responsibility of, of the mistake, as he had apologized to the party organs itself and apologized to the general public. And then we would see how uh, the rehabilitation process and all those other processes of your own uh, being comfortable as you progress. But now it was a bit, it is, it's a bit, it would be a bit um, untidy if without an apology to the nation without taking back the money, without um, 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 uh, resigning. Uh, resigning from the position uh, for us to be again uh, holding cohorts with such 
um, a scenario. So it is in that uh, respect, first of all, I want to tell the nation that we are still very, very cautious, <coughs> simply because this is our deputy, this is uh, our former uh, deputy president, mm. now because now he's suspended. But we are hopeful. A suspension uh, doesn't uh, a suspension, make him a former president. A I, I would, I would, I would uh, thank your English. Uh, the suspended uh, uh, deputy president, we believe that mm. there's still room uh, for him to, 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 to look into these matters and do the right thing. Okay. And uh, we, we believe we are still persuading you, uh, the Honorable Mpuga, please, let's, let's do what is right and have our party move forward. Because um, the light is not only on Honorable Mpuga, the light is also on the NUP. And this is where we find an extremely very difficult situation. You have to handle uh, the integrity, the core values, the aspirations of the people. You know, in all this, we have dead people, we have uh, imprisoned people, we have a number of issues. Therefore, it is quite unsettling if, if um, um, one of your, your iconic leaders is not falling short of what would be the parliamentary discipline parameters. Because mm. if a party has pronounced, nobody should ever think. What, what we are trying to do as uh, the National Inter Platform is, first of all, to grow the spirit of institutionalism. There has been a dogma here in the country by, uh, uh, by parties against, moving against um, uh, the, 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 the big, big, big names in those parties when indiscipline has arisen. It has always been very, very difficult. Right. And you know that abuses uh, 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 the principle of, of, of institutions. Mm. Institutions must always grow bigger than in videos. And right. I want to thank uh, the National Executive Committee mm. and uh, the entire party uh, for holding forth to what we believe in as a party and uh, accepting that we must build uh, this institution different from the NRA. Okay. Uh, thank you very much for that uh, submission, a preamble that uh, offers us what is no doubt a bird's eye view of uh, matters as seen by the National Unity Platform. As a watcher and an observer, you are at the Dialogue and Democracy Training Center. What is happening right now is democracy at play. We are trying to develop as a country and a political, an opposition party is widely seen as taking the right step to ensure that what it preaches is what it says. What do you process of that, talking of processing things? <laughs> well, you see, I think that um, uh, what's happening up at NUP is a test mm. to the organization. Okay. It is a test to the leadership of that organization. It's a test of the value system they, they, they they proclaim to have, and um, things appear to be happening at a very terrific speed. Mm -hmm. NUP is seemingly in overdrive, <laughs> and in some of these, in political management, overdrive is sometimes very difficult. You can end up making so many mistakes. Mm -hmm. um, from the letter, the president seems to have executive authority to suspend. It's not he the cites first time. the constitution, the party constitution. The constitution, yeah. he cites yeah. the party constitution. Mm. You know, the constitution gives him executive authority to suspend and recommend. So the suspension is not a neck issue. Mm. The suspension is an exercise of executive authority quoted by the president. And, and, and the question would be that the president has suspended his vice chairman or vice president uh -huh. who has been very instrumental in building and giving face to the national unity platform. Okay. And that has political implications in terms of, uh, first of all, your internal processes as a political party, uh -huh. that how would your vice president get involved in such an activity? your number two. Secondly, I, 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 from the, what we have in the public, it is still very scanty. You can, you can say he participated in corruption. This has been a parliamentary process 
I don't know how much the National Unity Platform has, has, has analyzed what happened in Parliament and has analyzed how the Parliamentary Commission has been functioning mm. and has come to a conclusion that this was a corruption scheme that they sat and had and violated the leadership code of conduct. We have an IGG. Because you see, in, in politics, and, and you see, it's not about values. I mean, the NLM is full of the so many things. People always are choosing the president of not fighting corruption. But you know, sometimes when you are in charge, mm. you must handle issues in a manner that, that depicts where you are going. So if, if there is corruption, we have an IGG. We have an auditor general who can audit parliament and realize the abuse of office. If there is a parliamentary commission abusing its power, did the parliamentary commission convene a legitimate meeting of the commission? Do they have power to make such decisions? And if we have too much power and they're abusing this power, it may not, not, not only be on this issue. Mm. It could be on so many other issues that the parliamentary commission has abused their power. So we must be, be able to examine this issue carefully and ensure that at the end of the day, even if it comes to natural justice, everybody will believe natural justice has taken place. So I think that the NUP, being a, a, a people power movement, has been responding to a public demonstration, a public um, exhibition. And the exhibition has, has an, asked an issue that will challenge the leadership of the NUP. Oh. And the NUP has to demonstrate that what we preach is what we practice. Oh. But before they have, they have examined the issue, they seem to be moving very fast. And that may create problems for the organization, which I think oh. is likely to happen. That, 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 that the idea that this was corruption the idea that this is against the values of NUP. And also taking into account what Honor Bumpuka has been saying, because now we have to look at this very carefully, cautiously. We have to handle NUP business with a lot of caution, because the last time Honor Bumpuka was also saying there is extortion within the party. Now, that is a statement from a deputy president of the political organization, mm. which is also accusing him of participating in the corruption, which means that we have to deal with this issue carefully. If NUP is firm on corruption, we should applaud them. If they believe that the one of their own has been involved in the corruption, mm. let them deal with it to the extent it deserves. However, this may also be an issue that is, should be placed within the context. Because you see, this is politics. When people are into politics, they have to be in context. You have to look at the, the fight against corruption within the context. And what is that context? And the context is what is happening in this organization also. is an issue you have to think about. Lately, they have been having struggles over different programs within the organization. And uh, Hone Bompuga and the other leaders have been at loggerheads mm. over certain programs. Mm -hmm. And it happens in this country. People can use any issue to, to, to knock you politically. So NUP has, a, has to demonstrate to the country that whether Honorable Mpuga does not agree with some of the party building activities, this issue is different. Otherwise, many of their members will be confused and they will not understand the party. They will look at this statement and they will not understand the statement. They will imagine, well, this is what Bobby Wine has said, but we know uh, Bobby Wine is with Nyanzi. And Nyanzi has been at loggerheads with Mpuga. And I've heard there, there were some activities in Masaka where they were having some difficult challenges. So the whole issue of saying this is corruption, again, let us go back. We see we have so many institutions. We, let us challenge them. I would actually advise NUP to ask the AIGG to investigate Parliament and the Parliamentary Commission. Because if the issue touches the leadership code of conduct, we have an institution mm. that has been established by law. Whether we believe it or not, it has been established by law to enforce the leadership code of conduct. Let, and, me, uh, let yeah. me hold you in your trucks right. here and ask the question. 
and uh, this one is down to the fact that your submission mm -hmm. calls for what is more holistic yeah. than what the National Unity Platform is using as an approach. Mm -hmm. When you had the word, service award, right. and then got to understand the circumstances under which the decision was reached to award commissioners the sum of money that they awarded themselves, yeah. what came to your mind? Was it something that read green or red in your mind? No, actually I have not yet understood this whole idea of service award. And I think the public has not yet understood this whole idea of a service award. If, 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 if it has been reported or minutes have, 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 have been leaked mm. of parliament that there is something called a service award, we have not even had any journalist digging and understanding what is this so-called service award, under what circumstances, who awards, you know? Is the commission awarding itself? Is parliament awarding itself? Is the whole parliament, because this is a budget of parliament. The commission is yeah. the governing entity of, of parliament. Par right. And parliament, as far as budgetary allocation is concerned, yes. does its own budget. Correct. So ideally, the managers of parliament yes. sat down yes. and decided it was about time yes. to say thank you to themselves. And we have not put them to explain this before. We have debated this. We, we have not had the Speaker of Parliament, we have not investigated how did this come about. Because you see, it's one thing to debate on hearsay, and it's also another issue to debate on a factual position. The facts are money the was facts dispersed. The facts are mm -hmm. money was dispersed. Yeah. And we need as to understand. As a service award. As a service award. 1.7 billion. 1 .7 Those billion. are facts. Those are facts. Accepted by even the spokesperson of parliament. You see, don't quote the spokesperson. The spokesperson of parliament is not an authority of parliament. No, he's an we, authority. We need to. You see, for him, he speaks, he speaks for. He speaks for parliament. Parliament. We as, you see, you see, you see, you see the, the taxpayers. Mm do not hold the spokesperson accountable. The, taxpayer, the spokesperson of parliament cannot go to the IGG. In other words, you're saying, I am saying Speaker Anita Among yes. has not come out to speak, explain the service So award. I want to say that whatever happens in parliament, mm. you see, you must put the whole blame away to this due. The spokesperson of parliament is a civil servant. He says we are meeting sad, but he cannot validate, he cannot justify, he cannot, be, he cannot be accused of abuse of office. So you're contesting the... So the, I am saying the, the mm -hmm. that for us to get to the bottom of this, ignore the spokesperson of parliament. Parliament has executive authority. Parliament has a political leader who has taken oath to protect the constitution and the laws of this country. Why would we avoid this, that person? and go for a somebody who, who can even divert public attention. The leader of opposition in parliament, Joel yes. Senyon, yes. stood yes. on the floor right. and asked the speaker right. to come clean and account. And what did the speaker respond? What did the speaker respond? You see, the speaker it, said, it's also these an are rumors issue. from her critics. Right. This is hearsay. Right. She can't respond to rumors. Correct. Okay. You're correct. And that's what now, the speaker said. Now, say. talking about influencing parliament, mm -hmm. when the leader of opposition raises an issue, the speaker cannot simply see there are rumors and it dies. When you have a parliamentary question, at that point, at that, you see, you see, what should the citizenry do? If when when Joel Senyon you raise that issue, mm. you see before you even call upon the citizenry, I want the national into platform. When Joel Senyon you raised that issue on the floor of parliament, mm -hmm. and the speaker gave a response that these are rumors, parliament proceeded. No, it did not. What happened? Now, I okay. uh, probably I'll wait and interject. Be because you see, that. because you see, when a member of parliament raises an issue on the floor of parliament. It can attract more attention. It can call, before, before the speaker responds to say these are rumors, mm -hmm. the speaker cannot say these are rumors before the members have exhausted an issue. So if, if the Honorable Lop is raising an issue of parliament, and this is how parliament works, a member of parliament will raise an issue, mm -hmm. then others will join in, and parliament will be moved to make a decision. Even before the speaker comes to say this is a rumor and ignore it. The speaker cannot just suspend debate that this is a rumor. When members of parliament believe there's an issue to talk about, 
So if the issue was raised in parliament, before you call upon the citizenry, because you see, you, you, you sympathize with the citizenry. You know, it's like people who come to assist you when your car has got stuck. They ask you, kaka tu kuatewa, tu syndicate tu kumuzei tu kuyambe tu tia. It's that taxpayer's money. So, so, so it's the taxpayer's money. Yeah. Now, it is on the NUP mm. to move parliament. But even if they are not moving parliament, they have numbers. Even if they don't, even if the numbers don't count, they take a position. So effectively, you're telling the national unity platform to begin or trigger the process of uh, moving a motion on the floor seeking the calling of uh, let the report NUP, of the commissioner. Let NUP, not to call, not do that, not, not that actually. Mm. Let NUP prepare a motion mm -hmm. asking parliament to investigate this issue. Let us have a debate on, on the floor of parliament. Let us expose the NRM MPs. Let us expose all these people. Let them take a position. You see, don't, don't, don't shield parliament by hiding under the speaker's uh, observation. This is a rumor. And you close, you close debate. What we need to do now, and, and what N NUP should be doing, in my opinion, mm. is NUP should prepare a, a full statement and motion pushing for this issue to go into an investigation. Now, if NUP has not pushed for that investigation, mm. and the speaker says this is a rumor and parliament proceeds, you cannot begin saying, quoting Obori as a spokesperson of parliament, to say the, the spokesperson has said uh, money was dispersed. No. The spokesperson of parliament is not accountable. You get it? He, he has not taken oath to protect the constitution. No, he takes oath. He takes oath. He does not take a political oath. His oath, oath is oath, oath, oath of service. But accountability, you know. His oath. I, I don't want to, to interject. What I'm you saying. You know that even the accountability of parliament, if you're All right, taking gentlemen. that direction, it's not with the speaker, it's with the clerk. Gentlemen. You see, no. so, friend, uh, Henry if you're Kasacha, looking at the you, know, you, you, uh, you, see, you see the clerk. Henry and the, Alex the clerk. Mufumbiro, I'm afraid I'm going to have to take a break. But uh, when we return, we shall talk more about what appears now to be according to you, some sort of uh, you know, a dilemma yeah. and that the national unity platform is moving too fast when it actually shouldn't. It should have used another approach instead of reprimanding and seeking to do away with uh, its own uh, leader. That will be coming up after the break. Do stay with us. You're watching On The Sport. Welcome back. We're glad you're still with us here on The Spot. I'm Chris Hegeni. Before we went into the break, Henry Kasacha, the Executive Director at the Dialogue and Democracy Training Center, was positing that investigations ought to be launched into the conduct of the Parliamentary Commission, not only in the award of the Service Award, but in any other business that it could be undertaking either illegally or out of the set structures within Parliament. And that is a new perspective to this whole debate and the developments that have had the National Unity Platform up against its own Deputy President. I would like to come to the Deputy Spokesperson of the National Unity Platform. You had Henry Kasacha's submission yeah. and the need for the National Unity Platform to perhaps rethink its approach and uh, I know during the break there was a bit of exchange between the two of you, but does it at any one point occur to the National Unity Platform that you're thinking too much about yourself and not giving the issue all the necessary attention that it deserves, including a triggering a holistic investigation into the conduct of the Parliamentary Commission as triggered by the Service Award? First of all, it was important that we clean our house before we think about outside. And once our house is clean, we are sure we have taken up steps. I want to give uh, a quick rebuttal to his submission. Um, we are not in politics as usual, because in politics they don't arrest people for supporting particular individuals. As I speak now, many scores of our colleagues are in jail for supporting Chagulani Robert Sentamu for donning a red bellet. So it's not politics as usual. In fact, we are under reality. The reality that we are facing military machinations, torture, uh, human degradation that we have seen with our eyes, rape, amongst others, from all sorts of the corners of this system. 
And um, that reality is what informs our political party, and it is on which it is anchored, given the background. I can tell you, Yasin Kauma is not in parliament. He was murdered in Arua, called blood murder. Rita Nabkenya was murdered. Um, Sweet Pepsi was murdered among others, uh, Frank Senteza was murdered in the campaign. Now, with that background, we cannot afford to save corrupt faces against the sacrifice of what we stand for as a party. Um, if a face is corrupt, I don't think that we should be chest thang uh, thumping and pampering them, masturbating them, but rather we should be putting them to hold account uh, for what their actions uh, have brought them to. Let me tell you, two wrongs don't make a right. I have heard you like I've heard many other elites. You see Mr. Mpuga has said this. You see Mr. Mpuga has said corruption in the party. Yes, whatever he may have said is subject to interrogation. That is the freedom in the party. Mm. Everybody can say what they want to say and it is not an offense. Right. But he has an offense that is not only in the public, it, it has been spoken about by everybody, including the head of state. I can tell you, you're saying the speaker. The speaker has given three answers over accountability of this money. One, he said that he is being haunted by homosexuals. That's the reason he gave to Jero Sonyoni in parliament, after saying it was a rumor. And the reason it was not debated, parliament was um, uh, a John sign die. Okay? The first time this matter was brought, there was a motion that was actually going to come from the NRA. This, what happened, Taewa did adjourn the parliament still, signed die. So in a space of about a month, since this matter started from the exhibition, parliament has been suspended, signed die, it comes back when it has particular issues to handle. So the parliament itself, the leadership of parliament, is running away from the accountability. But Joel Sonyoni has taken this on the floor of parliament, he has uh, addressed it as the leader of opposition in his capacity and it is a matter that we are not about to leave. However, the inactions of parliament cannot stop where we can have action. Okay, Where we can have action is prevailing over our own and our own who participated because we will not punish the three NRA commissioners. However, I have heard that in Rwanda the, uh, the Farmers Association of Rwanda has uh, brought up a petition against their, their, their woman MP for those very actions. So this matter uh, is a matter of public interest and uh, I can tell you we were not only reacting to the public, the public should be respected because forms, even in law, in the case of I think uh, Justice Pamela has just given us a very good ruling on electronic uh, media. I mean, I mean social electronic media in terms of contract transactions, commercial transactions, but also in terms of uh, uh, serving and notices, even court has settled this. So for you to dismiss information from the social media, which was not information, actually in our laws of the IGG, a person who is a whistleblower is supposed even to be paid. This was uh, 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 good work from the citizenry, which they are mandated to do by, by law, because by law all of us are mandated to see that our country is run with accountability. Okay. And when the citizens brought this information to the fore, it was interrogated. I wanted to tell you, the National Unity Platform fully interrogated this matter. We are abreast with the facts. The facts are clear and bare. One, that on the 6th of May, the Honorable Mpoga and four other people, one being the speaker chair in the meeting, and the May three... Which year? I beg your 6th pardon? of May? 6th of May, 2022. 2022. They passed uh, a budget of 1.7 uh, billion shillings as service award. Yourself, mm -hmm. you have just stated here that uh, a service award would come at the tail end of, of his work. No, this money was actually released with immediate effect. And they wrote, a, the speaker wrote a letter to uh, the parliamentary circle and these monies were accessed. Even at the time, there was no money. Let me tell you, when Quick. every expenditure in parliament, uh -huh. there must be a vote. I, I, did this every expenditure. 
uh, after they after they 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 passed this these minutes vote this money that is where there is a discrepancy this money had no vote whatsoever in the budgetary system of parliament this money had was not sanctioned it is an abuse of article 93 that estoppels a, the, the anybody to touch money from the consolidated fund without a motion brought by government there is no motion whatsoever that has ever been brought on the floor of parliament mm -hmm. in this uh, regard. Mm -hmm. And these actions, circumstantial evidence, collaborative evidence, and factual evidence is what led us to where we are today. We are not acting out of uh, naivety, out of uh, the blue, All right. but we are acting from the facts that are beyond social media. I have told you, mm -hmm. I am surprised you want to dismiss words of an official spokesperson mm -hmm. paid by parliament uh, he has a fully fledged, in fact, he's not the spokesperson of parliament. Mm. He is the director of communications. So, you see, a you person see, at that see, level. All right, I don't, see, want, I don't want us to discuss. A person at that level. I, 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 go I, I, into a person at that level. The modalities I'm, I'm, of uh, uh, yeah, now, what, the, the, person, what, the, what the, job the, he holds the, and exactly what he's supposed to do. The other issue that, the other issue is bringing You're about is that we, we, we have a face, we are running away from a face, a very important person. This party is not about faces. This party is about the realities that we are facing as a nation. You cannot okay. tell Ugandans that we are going to give you a corrupt free society and then you are masturbating your own corrupt officials. The masturbation we have done to him to, is to one... Alex, Alex, let me come to Henry Kasach on that particular point. It's uh, home and uh, seated. You suggested that uh, the National Unity Platform ought to have given Mpuga the benefit of the doubt or held him within the ACE team, being a deputy president. I didn't understand exactly what you wanted the, no, the National Unity Platform to do when you talked about the fact that he has done so much for the National Unity Platform. Should it have said, oh, you've well, done I so much for us? Um, I think we should handle it. No, I think I think I think Nup should not reward Mpuga, regardless of what he has done. If Mpuga has messed up himself, he uh, should be held to the standards of the party, the party. has set. Okay. However, mm. I want to be cautious in trying to to confirm that what they are doing is actually in that line, and I'm also trying to say that. You see, sometimes you may push things which have so many intentions within. Okay. And I want to say that um, this whole issue, because I said Noop is in overdrive now. Uh. They, they, this, is, this, is, this is a marathon. The building democracy is not, it's not a race, it's not a hundred meters. Uh. It's not the suspension of, of Mpuga that is going to bring standards within the party. It's not the suspension of, of him from where. Point. You get it? That is, it's a marathon. It's the beginning point. And, and Noob has to deal with this issue. And I'm just being cautious to, when I look at what they are doing, I want to say, are there some undeclared intentions in this whole issue? What do you mean? What would they what be What do I mind? mean is that this is an issue that involves government. There's no motion that has been tabled by parliament, by government, on this money, confirmed, right? And if, if there's an expenditure, you see, this country has a system. I want to advise Noop, even within the established legal framework, they can score so much. From any other person who thinks you are simply following Mpuga for your personal grudges. But you can use the available system. Mm to ensure that, why don't you explore? Why don't you have an independent process that is going to distance and, and create a verdict on Mpuga before you have yourselves, because you have referred him to the National Executive Committee, which sat and advised him to resign. No, 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 we have not referred. We, we have the, the president has the, referred this matter the, yeah, for, further to the last, for further processing. The, the matter that yes. is for further processing yes. is concerning the matter of suspension from deputy president. At first, yes. all these not process, from the party. 
not not from, not the, from party. the party not as from, deputy president as deputy president <coughs> we we, we the, the, it is the party is not mandated in our constitution mm. to chase anybody from the party Correct. unless i think a sitting of the delegates conference yes so it is he's not being he's still a member of parliament of yes. NUP, but he is being relieved of the executive powers of the presidency that he was given to because of indiscipline but, but, but you see as a lawyer let me finish why so as this a lawyer, indiscipline as, as a lawyer why yes so? mm -hmm. you know natural justice yes the National Executive Committee of NOPE yes. sat yes. and advised Mpuga to step aside. On the commission. They even, they no, even this wrote is, this later. Is on the commission. On the commission. Yeah. Alex, and so, this is where let, you me, must let me tell you what Kasacha yes. is not saying. Mm. Kasacha would want to say that there are issues within the National Unity Platform. Even without the service award, people want Mpuga's head. Let me tell you, I, and I feel very hard. And Mpuga, I, I feel in I, effect, I feel handed the axe. I feel to well. The president of Noop. He did very wrong to hand the axe to the president of Noop by participating in a corruption act. Mm. That is very bad. If he did that, that was very bad. I mean, like the Baganda uh, say, uh, uh, So the man so the This is three. what I wanted to tell you. Mm. I, I have personally worked with the, the Honorable Mpuga for some time, and okay. I can tell you that he has not been decorated politically like he has been decorated in the National Unity Platform, despite the fact that he was not a founder of the party mm. or a person who, who participated from the ignition, because there are people who started from as way back as 2017. Should it matter? That is what I'm saying. That's why I said, it's, it's, I, I wanted to say it, mm. such that you know that it, it was out of uh, the very many fruit, fruits we thought that he would bear to the National Inter Platform. That you accepted that, him? Yes, one, that he is an MP on the NUP ticket. Mm. He is the deputy president, he has been the deputy president uh, of, of the National Unity Platform, a position he has not held in any political party. I was a member of the Democratic Party. No, I don't want By you the to time, dish, mm, I don't want it you is to important. dish medals. No, 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 no. I don't is, want you to dish medals. It is important uh -huh. because when you say mm. that we, we were looking for an opportunity, even at the recent reshuffle, at the recent reshuffle, I want to tell you that the Honorable Mpuga is the Commissioner of Parliament, a position he has since even refused to abdicate despite those who nominated him to that position, <laughs> asking him to leave. That is how prestigious the position he, he, he is. He cannot even leave that position mm. by the accord of his party. He would rather uh, uh, remain a, a, a strong individual than mm. listen to the whims of the party. Now, if we have given, as a party, have given him all that due, then it is very painful for one to skip the act of corruption and then uh, castigate NUP for taking ac action against its beloved one. He is our beloved one. But very unfortunately, he was caught in something that in our meeting he accepted as a mistake. He sought for 24 hours to liaise with his family and members and then resigned. And then later on, uh, the powers that be uh, probably influenced him uh, from, from doing what is right and uh, did, is now doing otherwise. All right. And Thank you very somebody much. wants us to give him uh, Thank you. Thank you. Flowers. Is, 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 Thank you, you for that submission. See, Alex, uh, people power, no, mm -hmm. is, is, is trying to liberate this country. Yeah, from corruption, from and, all that. And, and move away from that mentality of awarding people. Yeah. Being a rope is not prestigious. Yeah. Being a commissioner is not prestigious. It is just It is a converted. Role. It is converted. Actually. Because out of, out of uh, actually, a hundred. Actually, actually, I would, I would, I would. Mm -hmm. Looking at the parliamentary commission and how it works, I would recommend very senior people to go into the parliamentary commission. Why, why, I would think, why, but in terms people, of age, I, I would I, in terms of age, in terms of experience, I, 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 but I would actually, I would even think that if Noop was in a struggle, it underdeployed Mpuga by putting him to the commission. Where was this? But he's senior, isn't he? Senior? You see, as as a vice as a vice president of the party, mm. you see, but the parliamentary commission is about administration of parliament. These politicians move from politics and they go into administrative issues. These administrative issues are not political. You will never see Mpuga anywhere because all the meetings are closed meetings of the commission. 
they will never discuss anything. They're just discussing allocation issues. So if you believe but they don't have that a vice president of a political party can be a commissioner, in my opinion, you have underdeployed them. You're saying the national unity platform brought this upon itself. No, but what I'm saying is, impose. what I'm saying is, is you see, you see, if he hears you now saying he's underdeployed, no, I, I would take, even say it in his face. He will take you on. I would say it in his face. refusing to leave. Any active politician, from unemployment. any active politician, more so in the opposition leading political party, to take up a role of parliamentary commissioner is under deployment. It is constitutional. It is constitutional, yeah. but it is administration of parliament. Yes, but that is why you yeah. cannot withdraw him. No, 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 no. Because uh, he's right. now I administering this matter, parliament. This matter that I would also argue. Uh -huh. You see, you are interpreting I will, uh, you just see, this information you see, you see, because he has brought something that I have a lot of argument again, uh, again and I don't want us about to go all of you. And, and this is yes. where. Uh, elites are saying that the party has no mandate to recall uh, a commissioner. I have, I, I, it, it disturbs me. The right to fire and hire is always by the nominator. Now, the processes of parliament, no, Alex, I have said, the right to let, fire, let, Alex, let me say, the process, even in our local politics, wait, the, even no, in our local what politics, what happens to the inspector general of police? When you nominate a what, person, what happens to the inspector general Alex, of police? Alex, let me bring, let me give a very elementary example. Mm, when you nominate somebody mm -hmm. and they are nominated and the returning officer confirms their nomination, that Alex has been duly nominated to run for this position. The person who brought your name cannot wake up and go to the electoral commission that I'm withdrawing Alex Mufundi. That has happened you get it? In the last election. So in this particular case, in what, this particular case, let me give you information on the administration what you're of, of Parliament Kama. Act. Alex. The administration of Parliament Act mm -hmm. was passed in the movement system. Mm. Uh, changes were made when we were going into a multi-party political system. Because then MPs would vote members to the commission. And it has a history. Before this commission came up, before this law was passed, the Minister of Finance was responsible for parliament allocations. When government wanted to starve parliament, they would not allocate money. So the MPs who were in that parliament realized that we need a law that will give parliament autonomy to have its space without the control of the Minister of Finance. That is right. And they passed that law. Not so, with immunity. No, no, no. You see, not with immunity. Yeah. They passed that law to ensure that parliament has its space. You know, if somebody has your money, like the Minister of Finance used to control parliament, if they want to investigate an issue, you say there is no budget. And their time is running out and they can't investigate. So the people, and talk to people like Honorable Wandel Ogal, who pushed, after he, Wandel Ogal was the proof of that yes, bill yes. that led to this, 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 this law. So they passed the law to create autonomy of parliament from the executive. All right. Now, when we go into a multi-party system, because parliament was nominating members, they said now the nominations would come from political parties. The, and the, when the, the nomination is made, and let me tell you, when the nomination is made, Noob can make a nomination, and the name, the name is put on the floor of parliament, and the MPs reject that name. Because there's a process. So that which process, means let me, let me, that the power of the house. Yes, it is. It is the power. Once the power I think that has point, confirmed. That point is clear. No, it is no, not. National unity it platform is not cannot a fire it a commissioner is, is not, after nomination. It is not. Okay. It is not. What do you intend to change? No, no, no. It is not clear. One, we are saying that Parliament works with unlimited jurisdiction and immunity. That is not true. All right, if you think wait, you wait, have the power, why isn't it Kuga fired this. now? Let me tell you, even with Mapenduzi, okay. it happened. Huh? This is abuse of the law. The person at the helm of, the, of parliament is abusing. You see, you see, let, let, me, let, me, let me submit. The person at the helm of parliament is abusing the law. And let us not condescend on this. Mm -hmm. She has no powers whatsoever. Let me tell you, the opening, the, the, the commission. Mpuga in that commission is a designate. Yeah. He's a delegate. Wait. It, it is true because it comes from the opinion of the opposition. The reason they divided, why that person was not. Let me finish. Mpuga Let me finish. He's not in the commission. The reason. As Mpuga. No, Mpuga is in the commission as, as a designation of the opposition. But appointed by the largest political party in the opposition. So on that, that is that why, is that is why, FDC. wait, that is why, no, the whole of the opposition is managed by NUP. So, that was so, in so the constitution, see, not FDC. Let me, see, let me finish. The point is, let, let me finish. Alex. You have brought some, I, I beg mm. to submit. Please do. 
you have submitted and very quickly yes you have without in interruption you have submitted that uh, the honorable mpoga and parliament have have enjoyed immunity of their actions these are challenged in court the issue of money itself was challenged at the supreme court and they were found irregular of awarding themselves monies. So these people have been challenged, yes, with the doctrine of separation of powers. Mm. There was need for financial independence of parliament, mm. but not financial abuse, just like it is in the judiciary, just like it should be in the executive. Now, the issue of appointing authority, let me tell you, the Interpretation Act, Section uh, 24 says that one who has the right to hire has the right to fire. The reason why the, the process is complete after the national inter-platform is involved, because it is us who bring the name. Parliament has no power, just like he was saying we have no power if the name is rejected, to, to, to appoint impose. and to, uh, to impose mm. or mm. appoint and confirm yes. uh, a commissioner. It is with the national inter-platform according to the constitution and the rules. Now, where you disabuse the interest of the national inter-platform, it is disabuse of the, of the voters because th their construction and substructure and existence is as a result of the votes where you gave them to be the largest opposition. All right, let me ask this parliament. question now, and close this matter. The, let the, me ask the, the parliament, question. as I finish, mm -hmm. this is important. Parliament, however, like all other organizations, mm. has its own system of getting rid of a commissioner even when the political party is not interested. For example, the issue of the Honorable Zake. Mm. The issue of the Honorable Zake was a matter of discipline, a matter of concern, without, within the, uh, the, the, the leadership of parliament. Mm. In, at the National Unity Platform, we did not agree with them. We thought it was persecution, and yes, it was proved by court, uh, the courts of Uganda, uh, the constitutional court. Now, however, Parliament went through those processes that you're taking me through, the processes of the motion and all, to, re to, to, to remove uh, the Honorable Zake from Parliament. However, he was still in the mindset of the nominator, the commissioner, until this time when Honorable Mpoga was replaced. If Parliament was enjoying... Uh, uh, unlimited powers. It means that they would have got their own from the House. Yes, that uh, Honorable Segona tried to bring it one time when he wanted the lead of opposition to be voted for uh, by the whole House of Parliament. But that did not pass. The, re the role of... An, uh, 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 and I wanted to give you an example. The Inspector General of Police. Mm -hmm. The Inspector General of Police is nominated mm -hmm. by the President and uh, confirmed by Parliament. Not so. Can't the president interdict? Because this is administrative law. Can't the president interdict an IGP? Let's forget about the IGP. No, Let's no. go to a minister. You know, Let me forget. Wait so a minute. The question, the question is, Let us the question is in, li in light of the examples you're citing, in, 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 in light of what are alternative facts, if I can use that word that you're using, what is the National Unity Platform doing next in challenging what you say is the abuse of power by Parliament? Um, well, quickly in one we, sentence, we 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 are discussing a lot of a lot of. No, uh, what are you going to do about that? We are, we are Parliament, you claim, has abused its power by refusing or declining the, the national reason, unity platform. The reason firing. The reason, oh, the reason, the reason. The reason we are at the forefront of removing genome seven <sighs> is listen. Uh, it is a wholesome Mufumbira. Qu answer. Mufumbira. The reason. Uh -huh. The reason we are at the forefront mm. of fighting. The question genome, is clear. It is, and I'm giving you a clear answer. The reason we are fighting Genome 7 is because we have a system breakdown. We have institutional breakdown. We have so you're and, telling, and, and I can tell you... You're saying you're waiting for the greater cause of realigning and streamlining institutions for you to tackle this particular issue. No, 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 no. We have, first of all, in-house, mm. tackled it by reprimanding our own. Our leader of opposition is on record. He has taken the matter to Parliament. And uh, I can tell you, there are those who have mind of going to the Constitutional Court for interpretation. So I cannot be here on okay. TV and tell you this is what is going to be done when we have not really <laughs> looked look at right. logical Gentlemen, conclusion. Alex, Very we quickly, have you have two minutes. We go for a break, then we come and... Uh, Alex is a spokesperson of the political party. Mm and he has a duty to ensure that the party has a narrative. This uh, is he's a, a lawyer. This is not he's a, a lawyer. Mm -hmm. And in courts, people always quote cases to make their cases. 
And sometimes when the judges are passing their rulings, they mm. say, what you quoted does not apply to this. Does party. not apply to this. The so what does it apply? The Inspector General of Police <coughs> mm. does not ap apply. The Interpretation Act is quoted. Henry Kasacha, I'm afraid, I'm afraid, Why? Henry, because Henry Kasacha, Alex Mufumbiro, I'm afraid we used a lot more time yeah. to discuss aspects of the, NUP. Uh, not NUP, but Parliament, when we were supposed to tackle the issues that uh, are uh, related to NUP's actions and what it intends to do to Mathias Mpuga. But that's going to be uh, tackled after the break. You are watching On The Sport, and I'm Chris Higeni. When we return, we shall be asking can factionalism within opposition parties be dealt with in a bid to make them more uh, strong in tackling the greater goal of dislodging the national resistance movement? Stay with us. We'll be right back. Welcome back. We're glad you're still with us here on the spot on NTV. I'm Chris Higeni. Let me go to my guest, Henry Kasacha, the executive director at the Dialogue and Democracy Training Center. Factionalism within the opposition seems to be an everyday thing. And when you listen to Mathias Simpuga speak, he seems to speak like a man who has a following and understands that whatever he did, whether it's wrong or not, his fans, his followers, his segment of the National Unity Platform must not lose him. And he's willing to stand his ground and question the National Unity Platform on aspects he thinks should also arise if they are making this an issue. Do you believe that? No, you see, you see, factionalism within our political parties, not just NUP, mm. I mean across. Yeah, uh, even uh, uh, basically, just to maintain your own personal political empire. Not to take over the organization. Mm. What, is, what is happening in FDC is not to take over. In DP is not to take over. But to just maintain a political platform where you can always broadcast from. So even in this case, whether Mpuka speaks with the following. You see, in politics, you don't have to, to, to talk about the following. Mm. People have to see it. Okay. You don't have to say, no, Mpuka has a following. You will see it. And you can see the following in terms of how people respond. You will not see people gathered, but you may see how they are responding, how they are reacting. Mm. So if you, are, if, you are, if you are going to observe how members of NUP are behaving now, you realize you will make your own personal statement whether Mpuga has a following within NUP or he has no following within NUP. It's very easy. So, so the factionalism in our Ugandan political parties is not fundamental. The factionalism is about political, political mileage. You will have your faction and it will remain where you are. You will not have a faction that is going to take over a political party. You don't have factions that have, where people are fighting for leadership of an organization. Those, those will be the, the real factions within a political party. Mm. But these are seemingly groups if, if, if Alex has supporters, you can say Alex has a faction. If so-and-so has, it, it will only make sense, it will only qualify for a faction within the political sense of a faction, if it can begin contesting the leadership of the organization. The reason I ask that question yeah. is this, and allow me to stay with you on this, I'll be coming to Alex Mfumbiro a little bit later, yeah. is that when politicians find themselves on the spot, on anything, they quickly want to make it clear that there is a case of witch hunt. Witch hunt by those who believe that they may be stronger or pose a threat to power. Yeah, you see, because of our political context, mm. we have the big man syndrome in our politics. Many people may not agree with President Museveni, but they can't say it. Many people may not agree with Dr. Bestia, but they can't say it because they fear the, the implications. Many people will not agree with Amriyat right now in Nigeria, but they may not. So likewise, many people may not agree with Bobby Wine, but he has been labeled principal. When you label somebody principal, it's like they're anointed. So anybody who is going to disagree with him, it becomes risky. That's So chances are, you see, nomenclature can translate. Chances are that people may be using 
They are false to claim which hurt. That's possible. Mm -hmm. I can't rule it out. If Mpuga has made mistakes, he can begin claiming which hunt. For what is very clear, it is not acceptable to the standards of the party. But chances are that Mpuga has reached a point of saying, I have suffered enough. And I would say that because, you know, you know the Honorable Mpuga made statements when he was handing over to Senyon, mm. which nobody realized. If you can have that clip, that was a very when he made statements at the handover, mm -hmm. he said to about three things: please support Senyoin. Don't make him eat what he has not eaten. Don't backstab him. Now, if you are a critical observer, when people are handing over and they are making such statements in parable form, you ask yourself. Does Mpuga believe he has been backstabbed? Does Mpuga believe people have been making him uh, allegations around him? Has he? So you, you pose the question. Now, if this debate can help the NUP, it will help the NUP have an internal reflection on their organization. Because personally, I took those statements very serious. I've never had time to talk to Mpuga about them. Mm. But when I saw him handing over, to, to Senyonyi, and he said, please don't backstab Senyonyi. Okay. And he's telling his party members, why would you tell your party members not to backstab somebody, unless there's a practice of backstabbing? Mm. Secondly, why would you tell him, tell them not to accuse Senyonyi wrongfully? Which means he that that statement was informed by an observation that perhaps Mpuga believes in some cases within the NUP, he had been wrongfully accused and he had kept quiet because of being lop, because of being number two, because of not appearing to be at loggerheads. Now, if the organization is going to have a strategic team, Excuse me. It would, this, these are issues that we should go to the strategic team, not, not in the media, not in the, not in the press conference when you're calling them. Go and interrogate these issues. Okay. If these practices are there, then chances are that we cannot rule out which uh, w uh, which hunt. Eh? We cannot rule out hiding under corruption to say people are which hurting me because I'm so and so and they think I'm going to challenge Bobby Wine. If you have been corrupt, you have been corrupt. But chances are that even this so-called corruption, because Mpoga made statements just in the other press conference, which the party should take up. Let me ask uh, a hypothetical question, but one that has uh its foundations in reality. Mm -hmm. If a judge uh, calls up uh, a defendant onto the restaurant and asks them to take a plea, yes. and that defendant accepts the crime, right. and says, oh, I accept the crime, I am guilty. Right. Do you expect the yes. judge? I stole a cow, but he also stole a goat. You know, yes. do you expect the judge to change that plea and say, well, circumstances under which you are accepting the plea might be uh, something else? The, the laws are very clear in this country mm. when people plead guilty. Okay. And when you plead guilty, All right. before the judge convicts you, <laughs> he takes you a process. I am told we have callers on yeah. board who would love to ask you questions. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Okay, let's just uh, listen to a caller. Hello? Hello? Hello, could you speak up your question? Yes, please. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm called the Bukenya attorney calling from Kitende. All right. Um, I, have, I have a concern. And this concern goes to, to, to the gentleman in the middle. Henry, Henry Kasaja. Yes, Henry Kasaja. Yes, based on, on the political stand of our country, there are quite a number of things that go up chart. And uh, we, 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 the, the, the common people, end up suffering. But at the extent that even you people who, who could easily hear a part out, try to, to, to bring out issues the way they are they're supposed to be actuated, you, you tend not to be 
interested, you tend to, to shy away from the truth. Because, because honestly, if there is any misuse of public funds, why would you cover up for someone? Why would you feel like it is, it is, it is, it is not right for me to speak, speak out the truth over what is happening in its own context? Because in this matter, as a matter of fact, there was misuse of public funds, and it is very clear, and there is no reason to beat about the good saying that there is which hand, there is what, what. There was misuse, and misuse is misuse. So to me, I think Mpoga should definitely be able to, to, to come up and, and apologize. That is, that is the bottom line. There is nothing more than that. Apologize All right. because you misuse the public fund. All right, thank you very much. Kenya from Chitende. There he has uh, what appears to be an accusation to Henry Kasacha as an apologist for Mpuga. Well, you see, you can, you can label me an apologist for corruption. But I want to tell you that in this country... You're being elitist, that's what he says. Well, you think I'm elitist, you don't know my history. I, have, I was a member no, of several galaxies. I so am telling him, I'm telling you that I, I, I have a history. I'm mm. not an elitist. Okay. Uh, despite looking at things from this perspective, All right. I'm helping you understand mm. that <clears throat> as an activist, we have wasted so much time in this country. We have wasted all our youth trying to fight things that are not going to deliver. And if you want to understand the problem of this country, this so-called accusation, you see, a systemic problem, a systemic problem in a country can take you. You can also go with it. So you have to be cautious in dealing with this issue. So when you want to fight corruption, everybody wants to fight corruption, and they have said they want to fight corruption. Mm. But if you have to analyze this corruption and fight it for, to the bottom of it, don't, don't, don't assume that by, by, by saying Puga has eaten money, you are fighting corruption. Yes, you can be fighting corruption through talking about it. Is it corruption itself? If, it, if, if those funds were taken, was that corruption? You see, you see, you see, because yourself, you see, you when, you label, when you label, when you label, I'm actually respectful of parliament. I'm respectful of the parliamentary commission. Mm. And I don't want to say the parliamentary commission is being used to bribe people. Because I have to have the evidence to support that allegation. But I can use it politically. Then, if I'm going to make political then you gains, listen to us with the evidence. If I'm going to, are you see, you see, you see, why so can use it politically. But if no, I'm no, going to use it to reform this country, if I'm going to use it to to help to get buy-in, because you see, let me tell you, then Adam has the majority in this country, but not all of them do not see the, the wrong things in this country. If I'm going to, come to use what is happening now mm. to show abuse of power, you can even help begin getting people within them to, to denounce what is happening. So don't, 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 don't rush. And this, is, this rushing is typical if in our we no rush, this, this, If we this, ask the question, and yeah. let me be very candid about this, you seem to nullify the fact that Noop approached this the way it did. How should Noop? approach the fact that a deputy president, a parliamentary commissioner who is leaning to the party, sat in this meeting and awarded himself. Is that corruption? Yes, that's corruption. Is that's that corruption? The office. leadership code. Of, code yes, of. that's corruption. That's, corruption. that's, that's corruption. You cannot sit in a meeting yes. that is discussing a matter All right. of your well, sir, Yes, yes. Section, and then you decide Section 8 and Section 9. Has this been the practice in this commission? We this, don't know. Start yesterday? We don't know. Now, I know because I've studied Parliament. <laughs> I have you know, I've observed you, the Parliamentary Commission. You know that commission. they have been steering? What do you know? I have observed the Parliamentary Commission. Yes. Mm. The Parliamentary Commission is composed of members of Parliament who decide benefits and, 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 and allowances of parliamentarians, among whom are the MPs themselves. And they take it to the flow of parliament. That is the process. And, and when they you know, take it to the flow of parliament... Just a minute. And when they take it to the flow of parliament... You see, the elites are asking NUP to follow processes, but they are skipping processes that were not followed by this corruption and abuse of office. And then you see... Once you have... Let me tell and you. And this is the once you receive, has. And, and he's using it. You have not even up taken time... And how? Wait. You have not even yet taken time... Yes. ...to appreciate his work 
be focused getting him. Wait a minute. I have and not I've had you him do because it. you have not had him do this. And just if because it is in public, it is in the public eye that Joel has brought this matter yeah. twice on the floor of Parliament, and Parliament has been unjust, signed die. So he is. You cannot. We cannot the be here. Can we house. cannot be you here. You can run, but we you cannot can't hide. We, yes, she will. She is running. But I have. Hide. I have told you. I have told you. Yes. She will not hide. <laughs> In Parliament, she talked about homosexuality. <laughs> Uh, Madame Anita Mong. Okay. In uh, in uh, in uh, in Bukedea. No, when she met the president, in Bukedea she told them that she was being fought by uh, Kadaga, a former leader trying to take over her position. When she was addressing the president, she told him, "You know what? You are the only one I have. Even uh, 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 Mr. Seven himself is quoted as having asked Anita where." She had picked that a lot of money from to have a project that has MK, that has Natasha, that has Ruabogo, that has the grandchildren of, of Genome Seveni, and 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 and. Gentlemen, if, if you, you, gentlemen. You, you you see you are scattered. No, I'm no. not. Uh, it's gentlemen. not scattered. You are all over the Alex, place. You're Alex, saying Alex, you're, me. you're saying uh, yeah. Alex. that uh, we should rain in on Anita mm. Among. And what I, what I'm telling you is not to scatter. It's to tell you mm. that she has so far give, failed to give a concrete answer to this issue. She is saying homosexuals. She is saying Rebecca Kadaga. She has no, at one time. Perhaps what she, she should she's say. She's throwing tantrums. The speaker has responded. Whether she accuses homosexuals, uh, other naysayers. Yeah, but this is she has responded. This is accountability. Whether the it is what you own. think is the, the credible no, 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 response no, no. is another matter. That, that, that response has, is not. You see, when it questions not are brought to Parliament, when it is not credible. Why it is not credible mm. and why it is not sufficient to the public is because it is running away from answering the question of accountability and the monies that have been overdrawn Kasacha, by her you, office. You and even up, illegally. You've spoken about the fact that uh, you know the, the commission, commission has been doing this. Might be conducting itself like this on so many other aspects and perhaps an investigation by the IGG is what is needed. But there's a party that has to deal with its issues. So maybe give them the benefit of the doubt to deal with that issue as the IGG takes up the matter on and the DPP of the Parliamentary Commission. You see, you see when, when NUP deal with this issue, mm. they're not just doing with it internally. NUP is the opposition party. They actually should be in government. In the next election, we hope they can win, they can take over. And, 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 and they're dealing with this not just for themselves, mm. but for the whole country. For the whole country. For people who have lost their lives, for people who have been wrongly imprisoned, for people who have been suffering, for people who do not feel they are part of the national budget in this country. Whoever feel oppressed and left out and excluded, mm. and they're supporting NUP, they are representing them. When they talk about corruption, that money could have gone into a health facility. That's right. In blue. So, in blue or whatever it happens. However, my only advice to NUP is that within this framework, you must be systematic and you must know the environment under which you're operating. Otherwise, you run a risk, and it is possible in this country, because the public will abandon this whole debate. Okay. Something else can come up tomorrow. Now we can begin debating. You see, this country is so interesting. An issue like this comes up, then tomorrow maybe full figure, then Kenzo has met the president, then this one, then so and so, <laughs> then now Honorable Baram is the minister, now he's making other statements about people power pleading for the president, and then the narrative can change and people abandon. In this country, the lifespan of any issue to, take, to be taken to its logical conclusion is very limited. So even if you have a legitimate issue, chances are that you will lose it not because you are, not, you are weak, not because you are not doing what you should be doing, but because there are so many factors. So I am cautioning NUP that in dealing with this issue, be mindful of the circumstances under which you are operating. We are very mindful. And if you're mindful of the circumstances, yeah. chances are that NUP was triggered by an exhibition. No. You get it? Yes. And no, there's no. nothing wrong about it that. It is not right. wrong. Yes. Because the wrong. exhibition is of Ugandans. Exactly. These are not people coming from Mars. So, so, These so. are Ugandans who got information, yeah. used this information correctly. Mm. Let that be your rap. Put it. <laughs> Let that be your rap because I'm out of time. Well, um, um, f for us as the National Inter-Platform, we are challenged by reality, not politics. 
and our actions are on reality, not politics. If it was I'm politics, on your side. yeah. If it was politics, then uh, probably would condescend on many of our values. But okay. being that the background of where we're coming from, we have dead people, uh, we have people who are still in prison. You have just seen uh, the sheer madness of uh, <laughs> what happened at a whole function where members of the executive are being sworn in, and the melodrama is entertained. Uh, for for the country that is very unfortunate All right. but it is much. good now politics. Uh, that uh, and, and we are not in politics it, because politics cannot be militaristic mm. politics cannot be madras november 18th 19th 54 people were murdered in what people are calling politics mm. so this is not business as usual this is reality okay. at the center stage well, thank you very much alex weiss from Fumbiro, deputy spokesperson of the national unity platform for those uh, submissions and uh, many thanks to you too henry thank kasacha you very much. executive director at the dialogue and democracy training center for a new perspective on how political parties must handle business they should be able to understand the realities on the ground and then act from within that uh, uh, space that's it for on the spot this thursday i'm chris higeni it's been a pleasure having your company have a good night